Yeah, ready, ready, and <clears throat> up and going. We're happy. I just want to show you my sweater. Look at my sweater. Woo, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, where's your heart, Robbie? Thank you. Come on. Over here, here's my heart necklace. <laughs> <laughs> At least you need a red hat. I mean, come on. Oh, I guess I could. I guess I do have my red hat. <laughs> you live hey, in Utah. Hey, you hey, must hey. have a red hat. <laughs> how are you, Anita? How are you? Happy Valentine's Day. I'm doing good. Happy doing Valentine's good. Day. Uh, we see Tara and Brandy over on Facebook. Welcome, welcome. Woohoo! You guys have any fun plans for tonight? No. no. <laughs> Juanita, no. Just work it in my, my boutique. Nice. Oh, bless your heart. Hey, that's a party. <laughs> that's a party right there. Nothing <laughs> here that I know of, and my husband is not a romantic person, so I'll be surprised <laughs> <laughs> if it's much more than dinner, but hey, I'm good with that. Me too, me too. So good. Hey, Josette. Hello, Alicia. Welcome, welcome. Let's see who else do we have over here. Brandy, Tara, Juanita. Um, welcome. Excited to have you here. Shelly. Hi, sweetheart. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Husband's cooking dinner and doing dinner dishes. I love it. <laughs> Brandy and doing dinner dishes. <laughs> Can I show a picture you? <laughs> I don't know. Can I? Uh, I mean, if you're okay with it. So uh, Robin talked about where's my hearts and my wife was, was very cute. And she decided to get some cute little boxers for me with her face on it. That's Robin's little wife. <laughs> I was wondering if I should share it or not, but. <laughs> hey, that, is, that, is a, that is a win right there. That's a huge win. That's a big win. She was loving it. And, and not only is her cute picture on it, but big lips, kissy, kissy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I love it. Yeah, that's what I, when Robin, when you're like, oh, where's your heart? So I was like, oh, well, should I, can I say that all here or what? So, well, guess what? We don't care anymore. So that's what's out there now. <laughs> it was oh, pretty funny. I, Your Robbie, wife is so cute. I just love it. Robbie got a winner, winner, winner. <laughs> Oh, mom's an overshare. <laughs> hey, if it, if I'm not in work rob mode, I, I don't care. So there's sometimes I'll, I'll throw it out there. <laughs> Robbie's a really good sport. He dresses up for Halloween. He. Oh, yeah. He, you should have seen what she dressed up as Halloween. That was crazy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's so that good. They, he's a really good sport. So. Well, and if you were at convention, you got to see Robbie rock the hot pink paparazzi socks and oh yeah so that was and now recently the mustache so the, i'm i'm super surprised the stash has stayed this long so i'm just letting you guys know but she likes it so yeah, good for her kayla's down with it so I'm, i'm keeping it so we'll see okay what are your wins what are your wins hey happy valentine's day kimberly good to see you again um let's see <laughs> <laughs> jamie go ahead um, so it's kind of, so I've been working with the premiere app and one of my fellow Papa sisters, uh, she found this really cool gadget and it's a small printer. Cause I've been trying to figure okay. out how to do the, um, like how you, um, go live and they comment sold from the premiere app mm -hmm. and you have to scan, right. And they have to see the item. So we figured, she figured out that we could print our QR code, which is the barcode on oh, cool. the labels. And we could put the number next to it so it can makes it easy for our lives to find. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Where did you Whoa. find that at? Uh, she found it on Amazon. And you know, it doesn't take any ink or anything. And it's just, it's all from an app. Hmm. And um, it's actually pretty cool. Would you mind maybe sharing that in the group with everybody? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That'd be awesome. I'm sure. Wow, that is really cool, Jamie. That is awesome. that is definitely a win. That's a huge win. That's super, super awesome. It's cheap too, so. 
Jamie, have you used the um, reply to buy feature yet during your live? Um, I have not. Um, I have been looking into it. I've been, I was waiting on this because I have to number everything mm -hmm. and I want to be able to print the QR code and number at the same time to make it easy. So I don't have to backtrack, mm -hmm. but I'm working on that. Whoever uses it first, let me know. I want to come watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying to see what it looks like. Alicia, okay. I have used it. You have? Yes. So I have used it. I'm going to take a break with it for a little bit. Okay. Um, just because I invoice my customers once a week and they have to check out within four hours or they lose their card. So I'm going to, it worked awesome. The few times I did use it, um, it worked really awesome. Messenger sends them a message um, as soon as they claim that number you give them. And so it worked really awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm going to like take the back seat and see what changes. Okay. Thank you, Robin. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jamie. You're welcome. Cool. Awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, Kimberly uh, Kimberly Lawson has used it as well. So that way, I think that's a great thing for us to like even reach out to those people that, ha that have used it. I'm sure some of us have used similar things, but I think that's a good thing to be able to see like, okay, here's the Premiere app. This is what it does. This is what we feel like it. And this is what we like about it. And then that way we have new people. I think that's awesome for new people that they can just transfer all our inventory right over and just start off fresh. Oh yeah. I mean, starting off when you have a big inventory, it's just like, all right, let's start slowly, slowly going through some of this stuff until we get it all updated. So yeah, um, good. any, uh, Jamie, I know you're going to put that in the chat with us, but do you have the name of that little printer, what it's called? Uh, it's called um, Nebot with two eyes. I could put it in the chat. Okay. Yeah. Throw it in the chat and then we'll throw it over here on Facebook as well for the people that are asking. That'd be awesome. Thanks, Jamie. Okay. We good to go into the training? Yeah, let's do it. So today's training is all on group lives, not just a dual live, but a group live. And so a group live is anywhere from three to four people. So I, I actually have never seen this before. I've only seen a dual live. And he even went into this that like, not very many people are doing this at all. So it is a good like hook factor where people are scrolling and you see four people on the live. It's like, well, what people are they doing? People are gonna stop. Yeah, so it allows you to be able to like have that stop factor that like, okay, what are they doing? And the other thing that's awesome about it is if you have four people all together on a live, you're actually getting four different people's audiences all into one. So if you have these four people, let's say I've got a following that I normally get viewers about 20 people. My mom gets like 100, Jamie gets like 30, and then Alicia has like um, 20. Then we've got a, a, a combination of all of those. And then we got a lot more viewers on the page all at the same time. And hopefully people seeing that and all our different followings will be able to see as well. Like if you, if you see 200 people yeah. live. Yeah, like, don't, when you're scrolling through and you see like 150 people, you stop and say, what are they looking yeah, at? What, what so that's always on? a big draw also. Yeah. So that, those are a couple like little uh, pros about it. And we're going to kind of go into each one of them. Uh, he kind of focused on the group live on Facebook versus Instagram and then kind of how you did that a little bit. Okay. Um, do you like, want to go into that? So, so he has Ecamm Live and StreamYard.com. Do you have to have that app? Can't, I didn't use the app when I went live. I just went on Facebook and did it. I don't think you have to, but I think it might be just a, a little tool that might make things a little bit easier. But these are little tools. Ecamm Live and StreamYard.com is just a tool for you to be able to go live. I think with more people, it sounds like you can manage comments. Um, invite people through links and different things like that. So I think it seems like it's a little bit easier. I don't know how much it costs. I, we haven't really looked into it, but he, uh, I know something he said is streamyard.com is just for Max. Okay. Um, so something that he said is Instagram, it's a little bit more po powerful to grow your following with this group live rather than on Facebook, but it's still a great tool for both of you. Um, and then he kind of just went into how you did it. So we can kind of go into that a little bit. I like Facebook because I'm really comfortable with Facebook. And so when I'm kind of trying to figure something out, when I did my interview, 
I went on Facebook and did it because I can figure, I mean, I'm just very comfortable there. So try it on the platform that you're really most comfortable on, figure it out and then go to the other platform. Um, so he talked about in the title where he said, so we're going to do an interview. So yes. let's say we have um, Mary, Susie, Sally, and Robin on the four people, and we're going to do an interview. So I'm going to talk to them, get them all set up and tell them I'm going to interview them as to um, why I'll, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take four people that have been in paparazzi before, like Suze is on here. She was in paparazzi before she had to quit because of medical problems. She came back. So I'm going to write in my title. I'm going to say, um, why people keep coming back to paparazzi. Well, he said not to say paparazzi, right? Yeah, I think it's just over. why people keep coming back. I mean, that's a good title. And then we're going to say, um, Mary Smith, we're going to say Sally Jones, we're going to say, um, and just write their names in there because maybe Mary Smith is um, blinging it up on her Facebook page. Maybe that's what her, what she's known for on her Facebook. So we're just going to write their name on there in the, in the title. So again, this is just the title at the top that says um, why people keep coming back. And that's going to cause you to stop. I mean, that's a good, a good hook. And then I've got Mary Smith, Susie Johnson, Sally Brown, Robin, and, and I'm already on there. Yep. Then we go on to, do you want to try and open it up? We, he said, you go into your Facebook to, and go live, the live video. And then he said, add people. So see, there's the people add down here. So if I click on that, I have all my, I have all my people here that I could add. So I can search up here, Mary Smith, and then I just click them, click them, click them. And then I'm going to be done. Then they're all going to come up and then we're all going to go live together. So did we follow that? <laughs> yep. And just know that this is, <laughs> this is new. Okay. This could be, uh, and, and this, if you're not used to this, it could take a couple times for you to take some messy action and get used to it. Okay. So we know that we can, uh, we know that the group live is for Instagram and, and, and Facebook. So my mom was talking through Facebook with that. And then with Instagram, what you're going to do is when you invite people, so you're going to have a small group. So it's just like, okay, Hey, me, Robin, Juanita and Alicia, we're all going to get on this live. So be ready. Once you, once I go live, you're going to come over to the live. So on Instagram, when you, when you are watching the live, that's when at the bottom, you can click the invite because they're just in like kind of the stage area. He kind of used that word as the stage area. Then you can invite them to come on the live with you. And then it turns into like a one picture, you know, it turns into like a little zoom basically. Yeah. It's basically. a little quad. It's like little quadrants. So it'll be one, two, three, four people all, all on the group live. And then I'll just say, Hey, um, why did you, what were you doing? And why did you come back? He said to kind of try and, and not really say paparazzi because that keeps the interest coming. But in our instance, maybe I would need to say that. Why were you in paparazzi and did you come back? And so um, Suze would say she had a medical problem. Um, Mary would say um, she got so busy at, at her job that she had to let one of them go. But then she found that paparazzi was really her love. And maybe another one had, Brittany had, premature twins, you know, I mean, there's lots of things that come up and why, but now they, they come back and we will talk back and forth and just have a little interview back and forth. And it will cause a lot of excitement that will be really fun. And we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, a big thing, I, I mentioned this before, but a big thing when you're doing any type of interview style, whether it's just a dual live or a group live, be very, very, uh, very prepared. So if I'm going to have Juanita, Alicia, and Josetta, Josette on it, I want to know a little bit of their story. So when I ask the questions, I can kind of bring things out of it. And it's just like, okay, what, and you can even phrase the questions to them and just say, hey, something he said is, what are your three reasons to using this product, to saying yes to changing your life, to love network marketing? So you kind of, you kind of, you can pre-frame them a little bit or like kind of tell them the questions that that, that way they're a little bit prepared going forward. But by that, you at least know, hey, I know a little bit of their story going into it, and then I can help pull things out of them. That's what a great interviewer is, is they ask the right questions and help them pull things out of the people. 
And I would suggest, like, like Robbie said, why, um, what do you love about the product? How did it change your life? I would suggest sticking to one topic for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are just different ideas. Yeah. Yeah. So and you just, just stick, stick to, to one, one thing, just like, okay, you can go around the whole table and just saying, what are your three reasons to saying yes to changing your life with this opportunity? And each person can go through talk. I mean, it could be like five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then you're done. It doesn't have to be super long. One thing that, that he's talked about a couple of times in our training is he said, don't call it paparazzi accessories or paparazzi jewelry, call it something else. So he used, for example, um, um, he used like a, a, some network marketings or weight loss and he would call them the particular product. This is the belly buster. He didn't call it, I don't know, um, um, ABC network marketing company, um, weight loss group. He called it the belly buster. And so if we have certain products, we could say, oh, I am um, my love, my love accessory, or I call yeah, anything yellow. I call it the sunshine, the sunshine jewelry. You can't put on a yellow anything and go to the store without smiling, without somebody smiling at you. And maybe start to think about what some of those nicknames are. What are some of those? Yeah, even like the smile jewelry. The smile know? jewelry, yeah. Does that have to be paparazzi accessories, but it's like smile jewelry. What is like, yeah. why does this jeweler make you smile? You know, Or so, you could say the lose 10 pounds jewelry. <laughs> because <laughs> you wear a V necklace, it makes you, it gives the illusion that you're down 10 pounds. Or the weight loss jewelry. Or call it something different because then people can't. Google paparazzi accessories and find everybody out there. They find you when it's just the sunshine jewelry. Yep. So uh, a couple other little pros when doing this with like even team members, when you're asking them is it helps you to be able to see like how good people are at telling their stories. And because that's what we do, we're storytellers. Okay. That's what we do a lot. We're not just sellers, we're storytellers. And the better, the better we get at telling stories, the better we're able to like present what we do to people and have them want to come uh, join us. Okay. So he said, when you use this with team members, it's a great way for you to use the sandwich principle. If you've ever heard that, where if you give feedback to someone, you compliment them, give some feedback and then compliment them again. So it's like, Hey, um, Hey, you did so awesome talking about this part of your story. I, I always love this part of your story. Um, a little bit of feedback is maybe tighten up this one. So maybe it's not like 10 minutes long. Maybe we can get it down to three or four minutes. And then they, I mean, honestly, I love when you talk about this, this, or this. Okay. Um, Perfect. Um, do you want to go into what one of the things we are in the people business. So think about that every single time. Um, I, we just got back from EMP. And one thing that Trent talked about is paparazzi is the way to your dreams. It's, it, it's the way for you to get that car or to get that house or to go on that vacation. And to do that, it's by being people this is the people business. We've got to love our customers, love our team, love our consultants. And so think about that when you're interviewing, how you can love on those four people and how that love can show out there in your interview to on Facebook. Right, right. Um, other than that, he gave one little bonus idea. So uh, I guess the dare, real quick. So the dare is to do group live. So do a group live with two or three other people. Okay, so he, he kind of focused on just doing a group live with three or four people. So you're one of those people. But the dare is to do a group live with two or three other people. Ask them, you know, kind of frame them a little bit. Ask which people, uh, get together a group of people that you're going to do it. Frame them and kind of say, hey, here's the question I'm probably going to ask each one of you. And I want to, I want to hear your story, right? So we gave some examples of like, hey, what are the three reasons to saying yes to changing the, your life with this opportunity? Why you came back? why you love paparazzi, you know, why you love this opportunity, why you love this product, things like that. So those are all, I mean, probably stick with one for the first time. Okay. Um, and then um, figure out which, what, which platform you're going to go on, whether it's Instagram or, or Facebook, and then we want you to do a group live. Okay. So there's your dare, a group live, dare. two or three other additional people besides yourself or four, if you, well, two or three and you, yep. that makes four. Um, the bonus idea is for any of you that I, I know thanks, uh, Thanksgiving, <laughs> Valentine's is today, but when you're gearing up for any types of holidays, whether it's Valentine's, a B-Day, Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas anniversary, what he said is a little hack or a little like idea 
is to go into your contacts and see their relationship status to see if you know anybody in there. And if let's just say my mom is going to go in and she sees Kayla, that is just an acquaintance. This isn't daughter-in-law, but she's a customer of mine. She's a customer. Kayla's a customer of mine. So I go into Kayla's info or about or mm -hmm. her bio and it says married to Robbie Frank. Well, you click on Robbie Frank and you go into Robbie and say, Robbie, my name is Robin Frank and I'm a good friend of Kayla. She buys from me all the time and I know Mother's Day's coming up. Would you like to have any help or would you like any suggestions on a gift for her? Because I know what she buys from me and I would be happy to help you out. Excellent. You get a new customer from getting the spouse or the boyfriend or the partner or whoever that is. And and then and just end it with like, hey, if not, no worries. You know, make right. it not a, not a yeah, big deal. Yeah, make it but it's a great way that something he said is normally like guys. I mean, I'm gonna throw this out there. Most guys are like might not be super. They've got other things on their mind. They might not be like thinking that far ahead, or they might do things last minute. He's talking about. He's like, not all of them are the same. Not all of them are the same. So that's okay. But it's a great way to be able to reach out to some of these people and give them recommendations. And if they're one of those people that kind of do things that does things last minute, they're open to recommendations and, and they're great suggestions. Yeah, yeah. And they're grateful. Exactly. So that was just a little, like little bonus, little hack that you can use throughout the year for little occasions that you know of. So perfect. Good. Um, yeah. Any uh, questions now? Let's see. Shelly says her popper. Papa anniversary was yesterday, four years. Nice. Ago. nice, nice, nice. Does it matter how many people you have? Um, Janie says, I, he suggested three or four total. Yeah. So just make it more than one. I mean, you know, if you interview one person, there's two. That's you and someone else. Make it at least another person. Yep. That's all I think, right? Um, so you do your research to serve sure. your customers better. Yeah, yep. excellent. Shelly, I love it. Yeah. Yep. Um, four is max on Facebook, I believe. Yeah. Uh, doing a dual, uh, uh, dual live Saturday. We do it once a month. Awesome. Jenny, super, cool. super awesome. Shelly has a good suggestion. She says, um, let's make a post to share ideas of creative nicknames to use for our products or our business. I love that, Shelly. That. That's a great idea. So is that something that we need to make the post and then they can I, comment below? I mean, I, I, I'm going to dare Shelly to make the post and have us comment on it. Yeah, Shelly, will you do that for us and post it in this group? That would yeah. be great. Shelly, Shelly Ramsey, that would be awesome, Shelly. In the 90-day run group. That's awesome. Woo! Yep. Oh, Kimberly says four is the max on Facebook. She believes. Awesome. Dare accepts. Nice, Shelly. <laughs> okay. Well, any, other, any other questions that we can help answer on any of this, any of these things uh, along the way that we've been doing this? Will you copy that, that chat and put it in the Facebook group? Oh, yeah. Uh, Jamie threw in the chat on Zoom about that little printer that she mentioned. So we're going to, I'm going to write that in there. There you go. This is what she said was the Nimbot small printer. And uh, where's Jamie? You're going to be able to see her. Jamie, uh, that was on Amazon, you said, right? Yeah, it's on Amazon. They have a 20% off um, coupon right now. So you could get it for like, I think, 23 bucks. Oh, sweet. That's cool. And it awesome. comes with a roll too already. Awesome. Sweet. That's cool. Thanks, Jamie. That's cool. <laughs> it. <laughs> It has, um, it doesn't need any batteries and it has a charger. So it's like ready for you to go. You just got to download the app and you could start printing. Awesome. That's awesome. Sweet. Well, cool. Any other questions? Happy Valentine's. I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yep. Thanks guys. Thanks. Thanks Jamie for the recommendation. Thanks everybody else joining us on Facebook and here on zoom. Obviously we love you guys. Love seeing your faces and um, we'll be here tomorrow. Yep. See you tomorrow. Love you. Bye-bye.